Okay, welcome back again. Our midweek MPs have reunited for their first 2015 appearance to start the election year. Let's get talking about the issues on Parliament Hill. Mississauga Conservative MP Stella Ambler joins North Delta BC NDP MP Jenny Sims and Toronto Liberal MP Adam Vaughn. All right, guys, the government uh, admits to spending $700,000 fighting veterans in a court challenge over that veterans charter. I want to just quickly play a clip uh, from earlier today, a question period, and then I want to get your thoughts on this. Major Mark Campbell lost both legs in Afghanistan fighting the Taliban. Now he's fighting a government that has spent $700,000 in legal fees to deny him $35,000 in benefits. Will the Prime Minister live up to our sacred obligation end this court battle and start giving our veterans the help they deserve. The government uh, isn't going to comment on matters before the court other than, Mr. Speaker, simply to observe that in, in this case the government is uh, defending a decision of the previ previous government supported by all parties in the House of Commons. Mr. Speaker. All right. Uh, you couple that with another interesting story that came out today. The government spent $1.4 million in court uh, fighting to keep refugees from getting uh, health benefits. And I guess the question is, uh, the only winners in all this seems to be uh, lawyers that are paid by the government and the taxpayers. I don't know why they're bothering. Does anyone there know? Let's start with you, Ginny Sims. What do you think's going on and what should be done about it? Painful that this is happening in our country. Veterans, they risk their life and limb when we send them out on missions to defend our democracies and our freedom. And here we are when they come back, we're not willing to give them the kind of supports they need. From closures of their offices, from one, over $1 billion being left unspent while our veterans are very needy, and now wasteful expenditures on court cases instead of giving our veterans the pensions and services they deserve and they need. I think that uh, we have a very mean-spirited government and uh, I think for the average Canadian this makes no sense. In my riding, when I'm talking to people in Newton, North Delta, they are absolutely embarrassed that we are treating our veterans so badly. All right, I'll get Adam Vaughn to weigh in on this, and then I want to get Stella involved. Uh, Adam, what's your take on, on the government's uh, costly, litigious actions? Well, it, it, it defies understanding, and quite fan, fr frankly, on a day when Canadians all over, all over the country are, are, are tweeting, you know, let's, Bell, let's talk, and, and are speaking up for people with mental health issues, including veterans that are dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, we have a government that's happy to tweet, uh, but is... is, is, is centering all its action on, on, on suing veterans. I mean, you know, you, you could have helped a, a, a dozen plus veterans uh, with, with quality uh, health care and quality services to, to restore capacity to their lives and, and, and to honour their, their service to this country. Instead, what we get is a court case. And it, it, it's not the first example of this. Uh, it's court case after court case after court case. And quite frankly, the Prime Minister pretending that he won't talk about the court cases, that he won't talk about legal proceedings because they're in front of a judge is... is is humorous when you consider how many pot shots Stephen Harper has taken at the court system over his career. Yeah, Stella Abler, you must admit the optics don't look good on this, spending that much money just to fight the veterans' advocates in, in court. What's your explanation for why this is being done? You know, uh, Don, any time we see even one veteran who's given so much uh, for our country, who's, uh, who's suffering and who's not receiving the kind of help that, that he needs, um, of course, we're all very disappointed and we want to help to make it better. What this court case is actually about is the new Veterans Charter and, uh, frankly, the, the issue is whether Parliament had uh, the authority to, to vote that in, to create that in, two, in um, 2000 and five I believe it was and you know back then it was a unanimous decision by all parties to create this new veterans charter um, and that was a very partisan environment uh, back then and it was something that was everyone agreed on um, and uh, to this now it's a living document and changes need to be made uh, to improve it everyone agrees on that as well so but ultimately our commitment this, to the, veterans is huge the commitment it's to huge. veterans is there a commitment to veterans it's not 
180,000 veterans who uh, are receiving benefits from Veterans Affairs Canada. Their be so, vet benefits. But when a veteran presents, okay. Their, when a veteran um, presents. Um, and so, and there is there is absolutely none of this mean spiritedness that Jenny talks about. There is a total commitment on the part of the Department of Veterans Affairs. There are 3,300 people. No, look at when a veteran to, presents to themselves with clear veterans. needs. When a veteran presents themselves then, with clear needs, the response should not be go to court. The response should be to respond to that individual what, and their needs. Not. And instead, and what so, we get is this kind of talk. Okay, and this kind of talk is you disrespectful. Know that we can't talk about the court cases. <laughs> you just <laughs> did. Uh, about. You just and did. Court cases about but, let Jenny have a bar. Jenny, you know, over to you. I'm just, I am really getting tired of this rhetoric of, oh, we respect the veterans from the Conservative Party and my respected colleagues. But you know, the reality is over $1 billion remained in that account, which, you know, uh, was unspent. Whereas we're hearing from veterans who come to lobby us here on the Hill, they've traveled here with their families. And they're telling us the kind of mental health issues they're facing. The families are telling us how they feel the pressure of all of this. And yet this government would rather fight the veterans in the courts no. than sit down and find solutions. And, and, at the end of the, the day, proof. at the end of the day, no veteran would be going forward saying, I'm not getting the services they need if those services were being provided. And, and the proof We've in had the case after case after case. And I can okay. tell you, I... I've met with many, many, many veterans. But the proof's in the pudding. They fired the minister. If the job was being done <laughs> properly, they would not have fired Fantino. That is completely that is completely clear that, 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 that the, the prime minister lost faith in the way that ministry is being ministry is being run, and, and 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 they should step up and change policy. They should step up and fund programs. They should step up like, and serve like veterans. Instead, we've had a, we've had a revolving door in veterans affairs with Absolutely. one minister after the other going through and coming out and being disgraced. And and the, the government could solve this problem by spending on services. It doesn't. It spends a lot of money on lawyers. Five it fights veterans harder than it fights just about any other file. This is typical of the way in which they engage virtually every sector Stella, of Canada. I just want to get I one point no clear here. Stella, Stella you, you, yes. your party lost in a lower court. I mean, this is the actions from a lower court. You have to take it forward on appeal. Why don't you just admit you can't win this one, save any more money being racked up, and use it to help veterans? You know what? We're, the help for veterans is ongoing. It's every day. This is not a case. Well, and you know, you've put me in an awkward position. No one we know you that. No, we, you know that that individual court cases. You can't talk about okay. them. But we can talk about the charter. We can talk about the five billion dollars a year that's spent. We can talk about the 180,000 veterans that are being serviced and are receiving benefits, um, who are have very diverse needs. They're, you know, they range in age from 20 to 100. Um, they very, access their services differently. They um, and absolutely, Veterans they Affairs also is doing get denied everything they service can. routinely, we and have that's the issue. Veterans being denied services, okay. and I'm quite comfortable talking about that. And we have a brand new Veterans Affairs minister who is a former Canadian uh, Forces member himself. Well, you, know, you, 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 should, you should, you should, you should, you should check. You should check because they, they, they get switched out pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, let's not. For yeah, a reason. No, Adam, he's gonna. Well, uh, sarcasm is the anger that all of us encounter in the veterans in this country who are tired of being... I talk to a lot of veterans too and many of them are actually very happy with the service that they've This received. is why I like and you guys when there's here one in this why did you fire the, <laughs> why did you fire the minister? <laughs> why did you fire the minister? Yeah. He was doing a good job? Don, Don is talking to us now. He's, the minister was doing a good enough job not to get fired? The new minister you know, will be here Don momentarily. Don Can you cut him off, uh, Karen? We'll cut off the mics if you guys don't listen. Be nice. All right. Very quickly, we only got two minutes left here. Uh, this is Let's Talk Day. You guys had a very traumatic experience on the House of Commons in October when a gunman went through very quickly, literally 30 seconds each. Has, has, have people experienced mental consequences from that in your caucuses? Uh, we'll start with you, Ginny. Well, you cannot say that everybody just is okay after an incident like that. Uh, I think for many people, they, it was the first time they had that experience. But we also had some caucus members who've been in very difficult positions before, and it brings up a lot of stuff. And uh, I would definitely say it's something we've been dealing with as a caucus. We've had um, councillors come in, 
we've had presentations made to us, and we're very good at keeping an eye on each other to make sure that we pick up any signals and provide the support we can. And some people will need professional help, and that's just the nature of the beast. Okay, I'd like to get your thoughts, Stella Ambler, because uh, the Conservatives, that was right outside your caucus door. There was the hails of gunfire. How, is your, how have your colleagues reacted? Well, I think everyone deals with it uh, uh, differently, and um, I guess it just depends on your, on your life experiences. Um, I, mean, I think uh, the, everyone from all sides is uh, dealing with it. Uh, they, we dealt with it pretty well, and I guess everyone in their own way. I think it's, it, it was important uh, to note right at the beginning, and, uh, and we did, that, that anyone who needed help uh, was able to ask ask for it was in fact encouraged to seek counseling or to, to speak to someone and that and I think we were all you know very kind to each other and despite what you see on this panel we are generally very <laughs> kind to each other as That's you know true. Don. The last word to you uh, yes. on this Adam. Yeah I mean I think I think all of the caucuses are aware of some people have had some difficulties and, and, and our hearts and our, and, our, and our support goes out to them. Uh, the services and, and, and uh, the approach to making sure that, that uh, people knew services were available has been very strong. And I think all of us uh, feel a lot more secure when we see the parliamentary security uh, and, and talk to them who encountered many more problems than, than, than some of us did and, and to see them right. pull together has been great. It's, it's, it's a good environment here for yeah. that. All right. Well said. Thank you all. I'll see you next week. Thank you. And Thank you.